channel today I'm going to show you guys kind of vlog style how I meal plan you guys have actually wanted to see this for a while so I'm actually pretty excited that I'm finally doing it and this is gonna be a little bit more interesting because well you guys will find out why in a little bit so I'm just gonna kind of show you the process of me meal planning I kind of have already done it because it kind of takes me a while to decide what I want to do and just how I want to do it so first things first I just grab I'll show you my setup setup first of all in front of me I'm just like casually Usually sitting on my bed my grocery list on this paper or if you guys watch my planner videos I have vid papers like that that I do it um so basically what I do is I first start out just writing a list of things that I know I need around the house like we needed pull-ups um, and we needed some tampons and just stuff that we need. This is my planner kind of bare this week I haven't um, actually planned the past couple days yesterday. I did today is Thursday um, So what I do is I basically figure out what days I don't need to make dinner So Sunday we are going to go to Brad's parents for dinner and then on Tuesday it is actually let me get there it on Tuesday is Nolan's birthday, so we have dinner plans for that day, so I don't need to cook on Tuesday either. So the first thing I do is kind of go through my fridge and freezers. I have two. I have like the deep freezer downstairs, um, and I kind of see what I have. Usually in the freezer, it's not too big of a deal because things last a long time, so I mostly go in the fridge and see what um, I could use up. Last week, I did a huge, huge grocery haul, so I don't actually need too much this week, which is nice. Um, I think I spent like 350 at Costco like I bought a lot of stuff last week at Costco So I actually don't need too too much I just need like the fresh stuff and that kind of stuff So um, I basically what I do is I go on the computer and I go to Pinterest and I just look at what looks good to me or what seems easy or what I kind of feel like um, and like knowing what I have in my fridge or freezer um, like I said I have tons of meat so I don't need to buy any meat um, this week it's just like fruits and veggies pretty much so I'll go through Pinterest and I'll see what looks good one of my favorite favorite recipes to make um, that I found from Pinterest and I made it multiple multiple times is the lasagna roll-ups it's made with like spinach and ricotta cheese anyways I saw that flipping through um, I just I think I typed in family dinner ideas and I saw that and I was like we have not had that in a while the kids that is one of their favorite dinners they eat that stuff up like crazy so I was like definitely gonna do that this week um, and then I just you know thought of like other easy dinners I feel like making a pot a pot roast a crock pot dinner so I'm gonna make a pot roast which I saw we had one in the freezer so I'm gonna use that up because it's been in there for a few weeks um, and then I just wanted to make like an easy dinner like tacos that's always easy oh and then I already actually had my dinner planned for today because um, yesterday I was going to make it for dinner and then I ended up my mom invited us out to dinner so we were gonna go and we headed to her house and one of my kids started throwing up on the way there Cohen actually started getting sick so we went and picked up some dinner came home and poor kid threw up a few times and he had the flu yesterday so that is what we're gonna have tonight is the chicken that I took out of the freezer last night what I do is I write the dinners at the end of the days on um, in my planner of course these days pretty empty and so it looks something like that I basically do from like Wednesday to Wednesday it's just when I do the banking and everything so it kind of just works out good that I do it those days um, so once I do that basically the next thing I do is I go I bring my list downstairs to the fridge and I basically go through the fridge and see what we have and what we need so for instance I put tortillas on my list and we had like the hugest pile of tortillas and I was like I'm so glad that I looked at that because I would have bought even more sorry my cat keeps bugging me so I'm so glad that that's the way I did it so then I wrote down on my list what I needed to get so then I was gonna take my list and head to the grocery store and do my grocery shopping but I was like you know what Brad's been gone um, if you guys have been watching my vlogs you guys know he's working a lot lately and he's actually gone for five days this time which is four nights which is a long time to be by myself and um, Grayson had actually just went down for a nap and it's like raining out and I'm like I don't know how I'm gonna get my grocery shopping done today and I absolutely need to because I need pull-ups because we had an accident last night because we were out so I was like I need I did the laundry and I we need pull-ups so I was like you know what one of the stores nearby to my house actually started this um, grocery pickup and I've actually never done it before so like I'm gonna look into it so I go on the website where I shop is the superstore if you guys are wondering um, it's like a Loblaws it's Zayers basically and I just started shopping and I was like seeing what was on sale and what wasn't and then um, I was just typing in and plugging it in and putting it in my cart and um, next thing I knew I had 
already done all my grocery shopping in like maybe 15 20 minutes I had gotten what was like on sale exactly what I needed and I checked out and I was like that was so easy so basically they said that um, I could pick it up between 5 and 7 tonight I've already bought all my groceries I just have to go pick them up so I'm gonna pick the kids up from school and then we're gonna go pick up the groceries um, so then I thought I'd show you guys what I ended up getting so I'll do like a little grocery haul after this But I'm excited to share that experience because I've never done it before I think it's such a good option for people like me who can't really go shopping like it's not convenient for me today So anyways, I'm gonna stop blabbering on that's basically what I do So I guess the ne next step is for us to get in the car and go pick up our groceries So I'm here picking up my groceries So I didn't know exactly how this was going to work They are so hyper <laughs> Guys, um, I called the number that's on that thing and I basically told them that I was here and what parking spot I'm in, I'm just the closest one to the um, building. And she's basically gonna bring out the debit machine so I can do my debit and bring me out my groceries so I don't even have to leave my car. Kids are all in the car, look, no one's sleeping back there. I don't even have to leave my car. I'm just so happy, so. We'll see how long it takes. Hopefully it doesn't take too long because they're being crazy. Hello, look what I They're playing with them. <laughs> Hi, Crazy. <Grayson. laughs> no one's fast I'm asleep. So I'm back home now. I am so happy with how that experience went. Um, she came to my car. I actually, there's like a number, so I called. And she came to my car and she um, had a debit machine because the debit didn't go through um, for some reason. Like, the, sometimes it'd be the debit doesn't always work online. Um, so I just swiped, like I did my debit there. Um, and then she helped me put all my groceries in my car. It was really nice of her to help me. And then um, after that was done, she handed me like this free bag. I'll show you guys this Superstore Click. It's like one of those reusable shopping bags. So she gave me that and a water and she's like, thank you so much, have a good day. And I'm just like, that was the best shopping trip I think I ever experienced. It was so awesome. So the one thing um, that they didn't have was like a big thing of raspberries, so there's like no substitution, which I would have liked them just to give me like the small thing of raspberries, but they didn't, so that's no big deal. We just won't have raspberries this week. Um, I'm not too worried about it, but I am gonna show you guys what I got to give you guys an idea. Um, I spend around 250 plus on groceries every week. That might sound crazy to a lot of people, um, but we are a family of six, and I try to feed them pretty healthy. Um, and trying to tone it down a bit because obviously Brad's not here he's eating at work a lot because he's just he's not here for like days at a time so um, I'm trying to not buy so much just because he's not here save a little bit of money so this week I spent 170 that's how much all this was he wants these blueberries um, so yeah and I actually did like a huge grocery shop last week which is why it wasn't so much so I'm going to show you guys everything that I got this is why we need the Costco size because he could eat these blueberries in like two seconds We'll start over at this corner. I, we got a lot of juice last week, so we basically just drank all the orange juice this week, like last week. And I decided to get a raspberry lemonade because it was on sale, and that sounded good since the weather's been so nice. Um, I got three of these. I usually get them from Costco, but because I'm not going to Costco this week, they literally drink like more than that in like a second. It's crazy how fast we go through those. And I like these one because of the top. Grayson can drink it without spilling it everywhere. Um, and then I just got like a honey Greek yogurt, ma mainly for myself because the kids will eat. This Activia yogurt, I used to get like all Greek yogurt, but I was just finding that it's expensive. Um, and the kids, like they just love yogurt, so I just figured this is a little better option. It's a little bit cheaper. Um, so I got that for the kids, and then I got some coffee creamer because I was almost out. And then cheese strings, usually get this at Costco as well. We go through a lot of these, but... Um, it's cheaper at Costco than it is at this store, so I just got a 16 pack just to tide us until we go to Costco. Um, I got some green apples, and then a huge thing of cherry tomatoes. I like to put these in salad or just to put in the kids' lunches. Um, they like to just snack on those. And then lettuce for tacos, um, some bananas, which I didn't say organic. Um, not that I really care that much, but just saying. And then I got some tomatoes for tacos as well. If you come over here, I just got onions because um, we needed some. I thought I'd try these. They sounded good just for like a snack at night. It's like, I think it's just like sparkling water, but it's like pomegranate orange or something. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's like an Italian or something, but I think that's what it is and it sounded good. 
So then over here I have mozzarella, which is for um, dinner tomorrow, and then the ricotta cheese, which is also for dinner tomorrow. And then I just got some chicken breast, just a small pack because mainly me and the kids will eat it. Because um, Brad's not here, so I just got like the small one. So that's for lunches. And then I told you I needed some of these. And then we needed some pull-ups. These are for Sophia and Cohen at night. And then I got just got some carrots for one dinner. This is for dinner tomorrow, the lasagna roll-ups. And then I got some salads for me to eat for lunches. Just because I've been craving salads and we haven't had any. I love both of these ones. I especially love this, this one. But usually I get the big one for me and Brad. And of course he's not here, so let's get the small one. And then I just got some of these because these are super easy to throw with dinner. You already ate all of those? <laughs> Thank you. Got myself a little snack for at night since Brad's not here. This, I'm gonna make some garlic bread for tomorrow's dinner. Um, some avocados, because me and Nolan usually have that with whatever we're having for lunch. The berries, I got raspberries, but like I said, they didn't have any, so we just have blueberries and strawberries. That's probably not gonna be enough, so we'll see. Um, and then I just got cans of corn just because we were out and we like to throw that with some dinners and then crushed tomatoes. I needed this for a recipe and then um, homo milk for Grayson. Chocolate milk just because the kids have been wanting chocolate milk lately. And then this is our 1% milk and my bag. That is a relatively small grocery haul for us for one week. This will last one week. Minus we're not going to have enough fruit. We do have some um, pears and clementines so hopefully that will tide us over. Um, there's bananas over there so, and apples so I'm hoping that's enough. That is everything we got this week. If you guys like grocery hauls, let me know below and I will be sure to do more. Um, I'm also going to throw in some of the dinners that we had this week at the end of this video. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry, my throat was killing me. So if you guys like these kinds of videos, let me know below. And I guess we'll just get into the dinner ideas. So thank you so much for watching. Let's get into them.